the sanctuary was Sistine Chapel Triple 22s, and the sick, sick dog began to vomit on the over-friendly foreskin. Our guitar hero hurt his brain, started what we now know as one of the most three-mittable bands in the history of bandom. The childhood angst of no one wants me, coupled with a gruesome tale of lead belly pains, propelled this misfit child into something his own mother couldn't cook up on a Tuesday dinner date. Roof Roof and Woof Woof were big childhood influences on Hurt's life. They sang tales of sopping wet, middle classdom, and white trash that was never meant to be recycled. The Potomac state of mind, oh wait that's the wrong place with the same name, I mean the blabberdine sinscape of adolescence that shaped the prince blonde, would shape hurt into a wide-bodied mind trick the world is still waiting for to happen again. The eventual pains of misfortune and unhealthy emotions stirred the pot of the audacious Christopher Potts the unsuspecting audience just couldn't wait for. Bliss, Jehovah Settlers came along and the rest was future history. They formed the band Pajama and they would soon flash their privates to the world that awaited such flashing. Oh, what an injustice life would be if Daddy didn't allow them to go outside and play. We should all feel thankful that they received the accolades that only accolades could accolade onto. The first record, Leech, would ferment the fertile sound of grunge rock's postpartum depressionistic, flannel-wearing, dirty-herring, thermal underwearing, over-the-top blonde head, hit the damn drum so hard your unborn baby brother throws up in the womb, beetles on steroids, obituary birthday over the moon and rip gene trend of the dirtiest tally whacker, this side of the geographically incorrect Potomac nightmare we are all still paying for. That was the sound of silence that no one didn't want to almost hear occasionally.